African immigration to the United States refers to immigrants to the United States who or were nationals of Africa. The term African in the scope of this article refers to geographical or national origins rather than racial affiliation. From the Immigration and Nationality Act of 1965 to 2007, an estimated total of 0.8 to 0.9 million Africans immigrated to the United States, accounting for roughly 3.3 percent of total immigration to the United States during this period. African immigrants in the United States come from almost all regions in Africa and do not constitute a homogeneous group. They include people from different national, linguistic, ethnic, racial, cultural and social backgrounds. As such, African immigrants are to be distinguished from African American people who were involuntarily brought to the United States by means of the historic Atlantic slave trade. African Presence in United States Immigration Legislation Equals citizenship equals, in the 1870s the Naturalization Act was extended to allow aliens, being free white persons and to aliens of African nativity and to persons of African descent to acquire citizenship. Hence immigration from Africa was theoretically permitted while non-white immigration from Asia was not. Equals quotas enacted between 1921-1924 equals, Several laws enforcing national origins quotas on American immigration were enacted between 1921 and 1924 and were in effect until they were repealed in 1965. While these laws were aimed at restricting the immigration of Jews and Catholics from Central and Eastern Europe and immigration from Asia, they also impacted African immigrants. This legislation effectively excluded Africans from entering the country. The Emergency Quota Act of 1921 restricted immigration from a given country to 3% of the number of people from that country living in the U.S. according to the census of 1910. The Immigration Act of 1924 reduced that to 2% of the number of people from that country who were already living in the United States in 1890. Under this system, the quota for immigrants from Africa totaled 1,100. This is in contrast to a country like Germany whose limit was 51,227. Equals Immigration Act of 1965 equals, the Immigration and Nationality Act of 1965 repealed the national quotas and subsequently there was a substantial increase in the number of immigrants from developing countries, particularly in Africa and Asia. This act also provided a separate category for refugees. The Immigration Act of 1965 has also provided greater opportunity for family reunification. 20th Century Migration Patterns The influx of African immigrants began in latter part of the 20th century and is often referred to as the Fourth Great Migration. This trend began after decolonization, as many Africans came to the United States seeking an education, and has risen steadily over time. Originally, these immigrants came with the sole purpose of advancing themselves before returning to their respective countries. However, in recent years there has been an increase in the number of African immigrants interested in gaining permanent residence in the United States. This has led to a severe brain drain on the economies of African countries due to many highly skilled professionals leaving Africa to seek their economic fortunes in the United States and elsewhere. Population Factors contributing to migration One major factor that contributes to migration from Africa to the United States is inadequate planning of labor supply in certain African countries. This has led to an oversupply of specialized workers and a system that is incapable of supporting them. Furthermore, education in African countries tends to be modeled after educational schemes and are not very accommodating of local realities. Subsequently, it has been relatively easy for African immigrants to leave and enter international labor markets. In addition, many Africans come to the United States for advanced training. However, this tends to lead a training that is too specialized to be adequately used in their respective home countries. Furthermore, since promotions in Africa are often based on seniority, young professionals eager to jumpstart their careers feel forced to migrate. Demographics it is estimated that the current population of African immigrants to the United States is about 881,300. Countries with the most immigrants to the U.S. are Nigeria, Egypt, Ethiopia, Ghana, South Africa, Somalia, Eritrea, and Kenya. 
75% of the African immigrants to the USA come from 12 of the 55 countries, namely Nigeria, Egypt, Ghana, Ethiopia, South Africa, Kenya, Liberia, Somalia, Morocco, Cape Verde, Sierra Leone and Sudan, which is based on the 2000 census data. Additionally, according to the U.S. Census, 55% of immigrants from Africa are male, while 45% are female. Age groups with the largest cohort of African-born immigrants are 25 to 34, 35 to 44, and 45 to 54 with 24.5%, 27.9%. And 15.0% respectively. Africans typically congregate in urban areas, moving to suburban areas over time. They are also one of the least likeliest groups to live in racially segregated areas. The goals of Africans vary tremendously. While some look to create new lives in the US, some plan on using the resources and skills gained to go back and help their countries of origin. Either way, African communities contribute millions to the economies of Africa through remittances. Immigrants from Africa typically settle in heavily urban areas upon arrival into the U.S. areas such as Washington, D.C., New York, Houston, Columbus, Ohio, Atlanta and Minneapolis have heavy concentrations of African immigrant populations. Often there are clusters of nationalities within these cities. The longer African immigrants live in the United States, the more likely they are to live in suburban areas. African immigrants like many other immigrant groups are likely to establish and find success in small businesses. Many Africans that have seen the social and economic stability that comes from ethnic enclaves such as Chinatowns have recently been establishing ethnic enclaves of their own at much higher rates to reap the benefits of such communities. Such examples include Little Ethiopia in Los Angeles and Little Senegal in New York City. Educational attainment. African immigrants to the U.S. are among the most educated groups in the United States. Some 48.9% of all African immigrants hold a college diploma. This is more than double the rate of native born white Americans, and nearly four times the rate of native born African Americans. According to the 2000 census, the rate of college diploma acquisition is highest among Egyptian Americans at 59.7% followed closely by Nigerian Americans at 58.6%. In 1997, 19.4% of all adult African immigrants in the United States held a graduate degree, compared to 8.1% of adult white Americans and 3.8% of adult black Americans in the United States, respectively. According to the 2000 census, the percentage of Africans with a graduate degree is highest among Nigerian Americans at 28.3%, followed by Egyptian Americans at 23.8%. Of the African-born population in the United States age 25 and older, 87.9% reported having a high school degree or higher, compared with 78.8% of Asian-born immigrants and 76.8% of European-born immigrants, respectively. Africans from Kenya, Nigeria, Ghana, Botswana, and Malawi were the most likely to report having a high school degree or higher. Those born in Cape Verde and Mauritania were the least likely to report having completed a high school education. Health American immigrants from predominantly black nations in Africa and South America are generally healthier than black immigrants from predominantly white nations in Europe. A study conducted by Gina Euro unregistered trademark Nan Gazel Reed, a sociology professor at the UC Irvine and Michael O. Emerson, a sociology professor at Rice University, closely studied the health of more than 2,900 black immigrants from top regions of emigration, the West Indies, Africa, South America and Europe. Blacks born in Africa and South America have been shown to be healthier than American-born blacks. The study was published in the September issue of Social Forces and is the first to look at the health of black immigrants by their region of origin. Culture African immigrants tend to retain their culture once in the United States. Instead of abandoning their various traditions, they find ways to reproduce and reinvent themselves. Because of the extremely diverse nature of African ethnic groups, there is no single African immigrant identity. However, Cultural bonds are cultivated through shared ethnic or national affiliations. 
Some organizations like the Ghanaian Group Fans Guo and the Sudanese Association organize by country, region, or ethnic group. Other not-for-profits like the Malawi Washington Association, one, organize by national identity, and are inclusive of all Malawians. Other groups present traditional culture from a pan-African perspective. Using traditional skills and knowledge, African-born entrepreneurs develop services for immigrants and the community at large. In the Washington area, events such as the annual Ethiopian Soccer Tournament, institutions such as the AME Church African Liberation Ministry, and Friends, and Sister Cities organizations bring together different communities. The extent to which African immigrants engage in these activities naturally varies according to the population. Religion the religious traditions of African immigrants tend to be pluralistic. In other words, they are seen not only as religious institutions, but in many cases also as civic centers. These organizations are also central to persevering ethnic identity among these communities. In addition, African immigrant religious communities are also central networks and provide services such as counseling, shelter, employment, financial assistance, health services, real estate tips, etc. Equals Christianity equals, African immigrants practice a diverse array of religions, including Christianity, Islam, and various traditional faiths. Of these adherents, the largest number are Pentecostal charismatic Christians. This form of Christianity is a primarily evangelical, born-again Pentecostal sect that emphasizes holiness, fervent prayer, charismatic revival, proximate salvation, speaking in tongues, baptism of the Holy Spirit, faith healing, visions, and divine revelations. Among popular church denominations are the Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, Seventh-day Adventist Church, Celestial Church of Christ, Cherubim and Seraphim, Christ Apostolic Church, the Church of Pentecost, Deeper Life Bible Church, Mountain of Fire and Miracle Ministries, MFM, the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, the Redeemed Christian Church of God and Christ Embassy. Additionally, Ethiopians and Eritreans have their own churches wherever there is a significant Ethiopian or Eritrean population. Their churches are mainly Ethiopian or Eritrean Orthodox and a few Catholic churches. Continental African churches, many African communities have created their own churches in the United States modeled on continental African churches. One example is the Bethel Church in Silver Spring, Maryland that has a Pan-African congregation. It also includes service in English and French. Many African churches are Pan-African, but some consist only of nationals from the country of origin. This allows for worship in the languages of the congregation. Equals Islam equals, Muslim immigrants from nations in Africa adhere to diverse Islamic traditions. These include various Sunni. Shia and Sufi mainstream orders and schools from West Africa, the Swahili coast, the Indian Ocean Islands, the Horn of Africa and North Africa. Visibility, notable African academics in the U.S. include full-tenured professors at the nation's top universities, including, at MIT, Ilfashe B. El Tayyib from Sudan at Coltec, 1999 Nobel Prize in Chemistry winner Ahmed Z. Whale from Egypt. At Yale, Professor Lamin Sane from Gambia. At Pennsylvania State University, Professor Augustin Banyaga, from Rwanda. At Harvard, Professors Jacob Olipona, from Nigeria. Barack Obama Sr. from Kenya, Emmanuel K. Akayimpong from Ghana, Biodunjifo from Nigeria, and John Mugan from Kenya. And at Princeton, Adil Mahmoud from Egypt, Paul Soboyejo from Nigeria, Simon Gaikandi from Kenya, V. Kofi Agawu from Ghana, and Kwe Mantani Apia from Ghana. In sports, Akia Molajuan and Freddie Ad are prominent. In the arts, Academy Award winning actress Shalize Theron and Grammy Award winning musician Dave Matthews, both white South Africans, and two time Academy Award nominated actor Jim Enhancer and Grammy winning musician Angela Kiddo, both from Benin, and recently Lupita Nyongo and Chimamanda Ngozi Adki are most notable. Cultural influence. Equals television equals, many local cable channels are now purchasing programming channels operated by the various African communities. For example, 
Channel Africa is now available in some TV networks in the U.S. The Africa Channel is a showcase for outstanding travel, lifestyle and cultural series, specials and documentaries. These programs feature all people of African descent and their incredible stories, their daily lives, their music and art, and their successes, celebrations and challenges. The network a Euro unregistered trademark as premiere on September 1, 2005, marked a milestone in U.S. television history. For the first time, American audiences were able to experience the successes, celebrations and challenges of people living throughout Africa and the diaspora, all via a general entertainment network. The network is broadcast in the United States through national distribution deals with the largest cable MSOs in the country, Comcast, Time Warner, and Cox, as well as other cable systems. The Africa Channel is also available in Jamaica, the Bahamas, Trinidad and Tobago, St. Lucia, Barbados, Bermuda, Grenada and other islands in the Caribbean. Partners include former United Nations Ambassador Andrew Young and his company, Good Works International. NBA stars Dicka Mutombo and Theo Ratliff. Williams Group Holdings. And former U.S. Senator Donald Stewart. TV news services such as the Nigerian Television Authority, South African Broadcasting Channel and Ethiopian Television Programming are also available in some areas. Equals Cinema Equals, Nigerian Nollywood films and Ghanaian films can now be rented or purchased from Nigerian and Ghanaian stores and like in Africa, are very popular among Africans in the United States from many different countries. Equals Restaurants Equals, Immigrants from Africa have also opened up a number of restaurants in urban areas. The DC and NYC metro areas host many eateries belonging to the Nigerian, Senegalese, Liberian, Ethiopian, Kenyan, South African and other communities. Notable African immigrants, the following is a list of notable African nationals who have immigrated to and now at least partially reside in the United States. Equals Academia and Science Equals Ahmed Ziwail, Egyptian, winner of 1999 Nobel Prize in Chemistry and professor at California Institute of Technology, Kaito Ijigai, Ethiopia, former NASA chief engineer, Kwabina Bowen, Ghanaian, professor of bioengineering, Stanford University, Ave Kluds Ghanaian, senior NASA spacecraft systems engineer, Emmanuel Kayakayim Ghanaian, professor of history at Harvard University, Kwasi Wiyadu Ghanaian, Distinguished University Professor of Philosophy at the Department of Philosophy in the University of South Florida, Claude Ake, Nigerian, Professor at Yale University, James Spector, Cameronian, President of the University of Pittsburgh at Johnstown, Quaim Anthony Appiah, British-born Ghanaian, National, half Ghanaian and half British, world-renowned philosopher and writer, Professor of Philosophy at Princeton University, 2012 National Humanities Medal winner, Lamin Sane, Gambian, Professor at Yale University, Nyayo Sunder, Nigerian, Professor at University of New Orleans, Victor Erkpolo, Nigerian, Chancellor of Southern University at New Orleans, Simon Gaikandi, Kenyan, Professor at Princeton University, John Ogbu, Nigerian, Professor at University of California at Berkeley, Fatima Jibrel, Somalia, Environmentalist, Sosina M. Haile, Ethiopia, fuel cell engineer, Bissies Rayowa, Nigeria, automotive engineer, race car driver and industrialist, Mohamed Adam El Sheikh, Sudanese, executive director of the FIQH Council of North America. Said Sheikh Samatar, Somalia, historian, Noor M. Nawa, Sudanese, obstetrician and gynecologist and 2003 Genius Award winner. Augustin Banyaga, Rwanda, Professor at Pennsylvania State University, Abdul Cullen, Sierra Leone, United States District Judge for the Northern District of Alabama. Equals TV and Film Equals, Monica Breen, Ghana, American TV producer and screenwriter work includes Lost, Brothers and Sisters, Alias and Fringe, Shalize Theron, South African, Academy Award winning actress, Jim and Hansa, Beninese, two-time Academy Award nominated actor, Omar Sharif, Egyptian, Golden Globe winning actor, Akosua Bizia, 
Ghanaian, notable performance as Netty in Academy Award nominated film Steven Spielberg's The Color Purple, Michael Blackson, Ghana, actor comedian, Peter Mincer, Ghana, Edai Gafedi, Kenya, Cliff Simon, South African, Arnold Vulu, South African, Lupita Nyongo, Kenya, Cynthia Abde Robinson, Ghana. Equals sports equals, Gael Agbosimond, Togo by way of Benin, soccer, Joshua Clotty, Ghana, professional boxer, Luol Deng, South Sudan, NBA basketball, Serge Ibaka, Republic of the Congo, NBA basketball, Ebenezer Cuban, Ghana, NFL football, Festus Easily, Nigeria, NBA basketball, Matthias Kaiwanuka, Uganda, NFL football, Nana Kafour, Ghana, soccer, Meb Kaflizigai, Eritrea, runner, Kofi Kingston, Ghana, professional wrestling, Bernard Lugat, Kenya, runner, Dika Mutumbo, Dia Congo, NBA basketball, Lupumba Mout, Cameroon, NBA basketball, Danny Mwanga, Dia Congo, soccer, Amo Bayokwa, Nigeria, football, Akia Molajuan, Nigeria, NBA basketball, Betty Okino, Uganda, gymnastics, Henry Rono, Kenya, professional runner, Robbie Russell, Ghana, soccer, Tony Charney, Cameroon, soccer, Hashim Fabit, Tanzania, NBA basketball, John Pierre Tokoto, Cameroon, soccer, Massa Algeri, Nigeria, NBA basketball, Madhu Williams, Sierra Leone, NFL football, Gideon Zilalem, Ethiopia, soccer. Equals business equals, Case Luckman Lawl, Nigerian, Chairman Chief Executive Officer, CAMAC Holdings, Relov Botha, South African, former Chief Financial Officer of PayPal, Elon Musk, South African, co-founder of PayPal, SpaceX and Tesla Motors, CEO and CTO of SpaceX, CEO and Product Architect of Tesla Motors and Chairman of Solar City. Noah Samara, Ethiopia, CEO of World Space. Equals Fashion Equals, Iman, Somalia, Fashion Cosmetics Entrepreneur and Former Supermodel, Lilia Kibid, Ethiopia, Supermodel, Actress and Philanthropist, Alec Wek, Sudan, Supermodel and Designer, Aluchi Wanwagba, Nigeria, Model, Amsel Labera, Ethiopia, Fashion Designer, Nana Merawita, South African Born, Half South African and Half African American, Miss Maryland USA 2012, Miss USA 2012 First Runner Up, Kiara Kabkuru, Uganda, Supermodel. Equals Journalism and Literature equals Chimamanda Edki, Nigerian, world renowned author. 2008 MacArthur Fellowship Genius Grant Winner, 2007 Orange Prize Winner, and 2005 Commonwealth Writers Prize Award Winner, Miss Mugo, Kenyan, poet and writer. Dynam Ngestu, Ethiopia, author, Salamawi Azjdam, Ethiopia and Eritrea, author, Charles Mudid, Zimbabwean, filmmaker and film critic, Deju Cole, Nigerian-American, novelist, writer, photographer and art historian, Fola Zadolawinka Badarinwa, known professionally as Sad Badarinwa. Equals music equals, Akan, Senegalese, musician and rapper, Angela Kiddo, Beninese, Grammy Award-winning musician, Tund Aidbimp, Nigerian, lead singer for band experimental rock band TV on the radio, Jean Guy, South Africa, hip-hop artist, Disashi Lumumba Kasungo, Dr. Congolese, guitarist for band Jim Class Heroes, grand-nephew of Patrice Lumumba, Kenna, Ethiopia, alternative rock musician, Dave Matthews, South African, Richard Bona, Cameroon, Kem, Nigeria. See also Africa, United States foreign born per capita income, United African Congress. References External links New York Times, Tastes of Nigeria, Sons of Sierra Leone, New York Times, Bronx Beyond the Yankees and the Zoo, New York Times, Solace from a Multi Ethnic Tapestry, Oakland Tribune, Black Immigrants, The Invisible Model Minority.